the largest positive integer which cannot be written in the form 5m plus 6n where m and n are positive integers. Anytime I have this cannot be written in the form. And I look, what, why do I want to think about cannot be written? I'll think about can be written. And what can be written? 5m plus 6n. I'm going to think about what can be written in this form. So m and n are positive integers. I can put m equal to 1, n equal to 1. 5 into 1 plus 6 into 1, 5 plus 6, 11. I can write 11 in terms of 5m plus 6n. I cannot write 10. The smallest value m can take is 1. Smallest value n can take is 1. When m is 1, n is 1, I get 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cannot be written. The largest positive integer which cannot be written, 10 cannot be written, that I know already. Maybe some other numbers also cannot be written. What can be written? 11 can be written. What is the next number that can be written? I can keep n as it is. I can put m equal to 2. Or I can keep m as it is. Put n equal to 2. m is 1. n is 2. 11 plus 6. 17. n is 1. m is 2. 10 plus 6. 16. So I can write 11, I can write 16, I can write 17. Now I know I can generate a bunch of numbers that can be written. How so? Very simple. I put n as 1, m is 2, I put m is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? or 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46. All of these can be written. What am I effectively doing? I put m equal to 1, n equal to 1, I got 11. I can keep adding 5 to it, all those numbers I can write. 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51, 56, 61, 66, 71, 76, all of those I can write. All I'm doing, n is 1, I'll keep adding one more to m. Then if n is 1 and n is 2, this is 17, n equal to 2, 23, 4, 29, 5, 35, 6, 41, 7, 47, 8, 53, and so on. I've got one sum. I can keep adding 5 to it. I'll be able to generate everything. I can keep adding 6 to it. I'll be able to generate everything. Beautiful, brilliant. Now, this entire sequence, I've got this entire sequence I've got. I can do better than this. I can add m equal to 2, n equal to 2. That will make it this plus 6, 22, or this plus 5, 17, 22, 27, 32, 37, 42, and so on, 47, 42. I can add like this, 16, 22, 28, 34, 40, 46, 52, 58, and so on. I can add like this, 28, 33, 38, 43, 48, 53, 58, 39, 44, 49, 54, 59, 64, and so on. Nice! I can fill the entire grid of possible numbers. Some numbers are still not possible. But I'm already getting a pattern. I'm thinking only in terms of a pattern. What can I find? And so any number k I have, k plus 5 I can get. Brilliant. If I have a k, then this means k plus 5 I can get. I can get k plus 6. If I have a number k, I can get k plus 5. I can get k plus 6. So if I have 103, I can get 108. I can get 109. This is brilliant. And so what this means is if at any point of time, I have five consecutive numbers. Suppose hypothetically, I have 100, 101, 102, 103, 104. 100 will make sure 105 is there. 101 makes sure 106 is there. 107 is there. 108 is there. 109 is there. Plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. The moment I have 5 consecutive numbers, I am through. Every natural number, after that I can get. If I have 100 to 104, 105 to 109 can be generated. 110 to 114 can be generated. Any time I have five consecutive numbers, I am through. 
I've got myself a, a winner. Now let's go back to this. 11, after that we have only 16, 17. 12, 13, 14, 15 are not possible. And so, and then I have this number. 20 is not possible. But 21, 22, 23 are possible. And so, three in a row, I've got three in a row. But the highest number that is not possible till here is 20. 20 is not possible. 21, 22, 23 are possible. 24 is not possible. And so, 25 is also not possible. 25 is 5 into 5. But, hey, if I have 5, 5, I have no 6s. That's not possible. The highest number not possible so far is 25. Is 26 possible? Yeah, 26 is sitting here. 27 is sitting here. 28 is sitting here. 29 is sitting here. Lovely. If you notice this, this is plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Because I am effectively taking off a 5 and adding a 6. Taking off a 5, adding a 6. 26, 27, 28, 29 are possible. 30 is not possible. 30 is not possible. Ah, that's a shame. Why is 30 not possible? 30 is either 5 into 6 or 6 into 5. I can have m as 6 and n as 0. Or m as 0 and n as 5. Both ways I can get 30. But I want both of them to be positive integers. 30 is not possible. 31 is possible. 32 is possible. 33 is possible. 34 is possible. 35 is possible. I am through. 30 doesn't work. But 31 to 35 work. If 31 works, 36 works. 32 works, 37 works. To this I add 5, I add 5, I add 5, I add 5, I add 5. The next 5 numbers are there. So if 31 to 35 everything works, 36 to 40 everything will work. 41 to 45 everything will work. 46 to 50 everything will work. From 31 every number is possible, every natural number. Just before 31 we have a 30 which is not possible. Or the largest number that cannot be written is 30. The key thing here is to say, I go in steps of 5. So the moment I have 5 consecutive numbers, I am through. So I am going to look for 5 consecutive numbers that work. 5 consecutive numbers that work, 31 to 35. 30 doesn't work, I've got my answer. The largest number that does not work is 30. Hush.